Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys a quick test to see if your firing pin is good. Okay, so basically grab the slide, take a pen, drop it down. All right, so you know you got a good firing pin. Okay, it also works with a, with a pencil. Usually I do it with the pencil because they sometimes the pens, if they're light, they go flying. Hang on, this one's going. The rubber on this absorbs it a little bit better. Okay, move. No. Zippo broke the firing pin. Okay, the firing pin. I didn't even look at it. I know it's broken. I mean, I, I was shooting this. Started basically the gun. You know, started not getting any bangs. Uh, did that quick test, and that confirmed that my firing pin. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do, just to be sure, is basically just hold on your plunger over here. Hold on, plunger, and push forward on your uh, on your striker. And nope, nothing's coming through. All right. So with that all the way forward, there's nothing in there. Versus the this one over here. So with this one here, again, if I push down on my plunger, well, this one's already hanging forward. I can see it, but if it wasn't hanging forward, I would just push down the plunger, push it forward, and you can see how firing pin, if you get the focus, there's your firing pin. Now, you see how it's got that arrow designed? Because sometimes the firing pin does hang forward, um, and what happens is as the, as the case comes up, to feed right uh it'll push it'll basically hit that arrow and then the, the back of the case will basically push push the um you know it'll push the striker back so that's how that works uh and I, this I, I noticed that this uh can be a problem uh with the g43s because they don't have that arrowhead design um so uh with some strikers uh the, particularly the ones that you get in a kit as the case comes up, um, it will it will get stuck on the firing pin that's hanging forward. Um, so that's a G43 specific problem. Uh, I've been getting the strikers from first of all all the strikers that I got in parts kits for the G43 like they they all broke like within in less than less than 500 rounds they broke. The, I'm currently I'm using the billet strikers from Aim Surplus. For the G43, um, those are and, and they seem to be working good. Okay, I, I, I I'm not see, I'm not seeing the type of jams where the firing pin is, is hanging forward. Because that also stresses the head of the firing pin. It makes it want to snap off. But the 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 firing pin design of the G17 1926, uh, it's a much better design because it it's got that that arrowhead design, right? So it's got that arrowhead. I'll show you guys one more, one more time. All right, it's got that. Right. It's got that arrowhead design, so that uh, if it's still hanging forward, as the case comes up, it'll it'll just push it back. It's, um, so on on this one over here that broke, how many rounds are on here? Uh, since the, I mean, this gun at this point has close to 15,000 15, rounds on it. Um, it. It did break somewhere around two thousand. Rounds again. That was uh, uh, a, a striker that came out of a parts kit, uh, and I, I believe I replaced it with one of the Shadow Systems strikers, um, and it looks like that went about ten thousand rounds or so uh, before you know. Some I and mean, I can't I can't be exact because there used to be a time where I could be exact with my round counts because I only had like one Glock 17, and I would do all my shooting on that, so I knew exactly how many what the round count was on that. You know, now I know I've got like three or four guns, you know, pistols and a couple of 9mm rifles that I shoot. So all I can do is basically try to shoot them all evenly. I know how many rounds I'm buying and I kind of have to do a division uh, to get an idea of how many rounds each one is probably doing. So uh, in the past, I could be very accurate. Now I cannot be as accurate. Uh, but I can, I can tell you this. 
strikers do break. Uh, so have backups. Get lots of you know have have a whole bunch of strikers on reserve because it is something that breaks. Um, and you want to be able to quickly replace it. You know not get not get shut down. Um, so thanks for watching. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. Uh, find me on Odyssey. Subscribe over there because that's an uncensored uh, platform. My channel over there is Pocono Tactical, and the way Odyssey is spelled is O D Y S E E. Okay, so that's how they spell it. Um, so that's how you're gonna find that platform and look up Pokemon Tactical over there and you can follow me over there. So thanks for watching, I'll talk to you all soon.